the abortion pill. This is the six. I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Blair Miller. That's what the U.S. Supreme Court will consider. Today, the high court said it will hear appeals from both sides of the debate concerning access to a drug that's used in more than half of all abortion procedures here in the U.S. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon is live tonight in Midtown. Doug, the court will not take up this case until next year, but tonight, a lot of women now preparing for the possible impact. Yeah, you can only imagine that they are. And we have to be clear right off the bat here that while this plays out in the Supreme Court, nothing will change here in Atlanta. Nothing will change here in Georgia. Women can still get this uh, mifepristone pill prescribed via telehealth. They can still get it sent to them by their doctor in the mail. But this ruling that's expected to come down sometime in June could change all of that. So it's really about access. They're trying to restrict access. Dr. Mimi Zeman, a longtime Georgia OBGYN, says the drug Mifeprestone, approved by the US FDA in 2000 and available in over 60 countries, is safer than some over-the-counter medications like Tylenol and Viagra. So this has nothing to do with safety or medicine. This is politicians interfering and judges with health care. After the Supreme Court announced on Wednesday that they would hear a Texas case seeking to roll back access to the pill, she's worried what that might mean for her patients. The court could decide to bar doctors from prescribing the drug over telehealth and sending it by mail and would roll back women's opportunity to use it from 10 weeks of pregnancy to seven. It's undermining the FDA's rulings, you know, which could affect other medications. Pro-life advocates cheered the news. It does give us uh, optimism. Zemi Fleck, director of Georgia Right to Life, is hoping the same Supreme Court that overturned Roe versus Wade last year will restrict access to a pill that's used in over half of U.S. abortions. Abortion, we talk about it. We, we, we say that word, but when we say that word, do we actually think about the human lives? Five million U.S. women have used mifeprestone since it was approved 23 years ago. Dr. Zeman says beyond health care, a ruling restricting it could have other devastating impacts in her field. Bans like this um, are leading to OBGYNs leaving the state. That impacts the care of all gynecologic conditions of women of all ages. And remember that our legislative session starts here in Georgia in less than a month at this point. And when lawmakers are back under the Gold Dome, they'll have two bills to consider that would both grant personhood and equal rights to onboard babies. So we'll, of course, stay on top of this as things develop. But for now, we're in Midtown. Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.